Blah, blah, blah. Hi, everybody, it's Neil. Welcome back again to my family room. Today, I have the Nivian Wax Warmer Professional Hair Wax Removal Kit. So, let's check what this is. Um, I'm not too effeminate, but every once in a while, I want a matte wax in my back or something silly. Who knows what? But I um, thought I'd give it a try and do a review. So, here we go. So, we have hard wax beans comes in there. So you can see, I guess there's different colors, probably have different smells to them too. Oh yeah, this one says honey, rose, aloe vera, and cream. Nope, this one has the same thing. Here's a blue one. I don't know, maybe they have different smells or something. That, that. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of them. Maybe it's just different color, who knows. So there's that color. Me being colorblind, I'm not sure what any of these are. So, maybe pink, I don't know. Green, maybe? We can all guess the color. That's how it gets the color game. And then, this is pre-wax treatment spray. So, we would spray this on the area before we wax. And after wax treatment spray. So, there we go, we get all that. And then, we get a bunch of popsicle sticks. Because to do it, you kind of spread it out with the popsicle sticks before you pick it and peel it off. And then here's some little ones, I guess, if you're gonna do your face. So you can get in between uh, for the girls who wanna do their mustaches. If I did mine, holy crap, that would hurt. Okay, and let's see what we got in here. And now this is the warmer. And before we look at that, this is the manual here. It comes to the manual, tells you how to heat it. It just says, basically, Plug it in, lots of warnings about burning and stuff. And it's basically two pages worth, and then it starts to go into other languages. So, mostly in English. And then, let's see what it looks like here. So this is it. Looks like it's pretty well wrapped. It's like a professional one that they would have at the uh, salon. So, lots of little plastic stuff. Here's the lid for it with some air vents. Ah, here's the little squirter tops for these bottles. And, okay, so this is the heater. So it works just the same concept as a, uh, what's this called, a crock pot or something. Yeah, so you have that, and then you have a little inner pan. And so this is the pan that we would put the wax pellets in to heat them up, and then we use the wax that so sticks and do that. So, looking at it and how well it's made, I'm gonna just check it out here. Here's the uh, temperature gauge on it. I'll plug it in and we'll give it a little try here. I'm not gonna be able to really do it because I'm not gonna wax anything at the moment, but uh, I'll write in the comments and maybe post another link to a video when I do do some waxing. Maybe that'll be interesting and fun. And you can watch me scream. Let's see. Nope, not gonna plug in today. It's only a two prong outlet. Let me see. Over here, I got a three prong outlet. I do. Okay, so let's see what happens when we, oh, when we click it on. Oh, so the temperature, it's got it in here, and it's in Fahrenheit. Wow, as soon as I turned it on, I started to feel some, some heat from it. So I can turn it up to 257 degrees is the maximum heat for this thing, and that would be boiling. So probably once you get above 200, I think that's boiling. So you gotta come up with the whatever temperature, probably the lowest temperature that you get that'll actually melt the beads. And then this goes in there and it'll melt it up and, and work pretty good. So you can see I'm already at 100, 102, 105. So that's how fast it, it heats up. So you can see it heats up pretty quick, especially with nothing in it. So we're at 113 and working our way up. No, I only had it set for that. So, but there you go. So, pretty cool. And it says uh, Nivian on there, and then the temperature, and pretty nice. And then you turn it all the way down and off, and you put the beads in, put the top on, and put the beads in and top on, and it'll just heat up and stay heated and keep it going throughout the day. So if you're at a salon or something like that, you're, you could just, uh, if you work a salon, you can just kind of keep it heated until you need it. 
or whatever seems pretty good. I mean, I don't think these things are terribly expensive or anything, but um, what it does and is good, and I love the way it comes with all these these, because I was wondering if I was gonna have to buy all these separate. I didn't really read all the instructions close enough to it, but it comes with all these different colors. Can't smell anything here, not open yet, but all these different bees. And again, the after and pre-wax treat spray. So I guess the pre-wax has lavender perfume. The after has menthol perfume in it. So the different smells, but uh, pretty cool. I like it. I'm going to give this a thumbs up so far. And in the comments, as I get to uh, try this out, or maybe I'll do it in the description or something, I'll post another link to it. I'll have a link to the product in the description, but um, I'll post a link to uh, any other review or if I had any issues with it later. But uh, thanks for watching. And again, this is here. It's the uh, Nivian wax warmer. And it warms all types of waxes. Uh, the wax beans it comes with, the different ones, I guess, I don't know what they mean, but what? Lavender, chamomile, cream, aloe rose. I guess that's all the different ones. So there we go. So thanks for watching and I'll do some more reviews later. Take care everybody. Bye.